episode 20. Whoa! I want to read that. Can you believe it, Brenda? It's been 20 episodes already. We've been through so much. Stop crying. You're always crying. I'm not... No, I'm not. Special shout out goes to Miss Eisler and her childrens at Mohawk Elementary School in Pennsylvania. Good luck with your reading festival. By the way, I picked up Counting by Sevens because Miss Slicer, as I call her, recommended it. So I have it right here. And I've read 40 pages of it so far. So far, so good. With my Kira Knightley bookmark. Nothing says read like Kira Knightley. Right, kids? I really want to go to a reading festival, that's not fair. I'm sorry I couldn't be there today, trust me. If you know me, you know that two of my favorite words are reading and festival, and y'all just clumped them together. How about this, one of y'all over there at Mohawk Elementary, you could just take your Smarty Pants phone, put me out on it, and just kind of wave me around. It'll be just like I'm there. Look, just like this, watch. Here I am, at the reading festival. Oh man, hot dogs, rides, and books at the same time? I'm just a floating head being waved around. I'm just like Brenda. I know where you sleep. And an extra bonus shout out goes to A.F. Harold, the author of The Imaginary, who uh, tweeted out the video and seems generally to be okay with the fact that we reviewed it and liked it and, uh, you know, took pictures of the pages and put them on the internet. So, AF, now that we're obviously best friends, uh, there's some things you need to know about me. Um, when I come to England to visit, um, I want my own side of your house to live in for myself. And I need to have fresh sandwiches every single day. See, this is why you have no friends. I have friends. Percy, you're my homie, right? For life, my dude. He doesn't count. He doesn't advise. He can't even see how obnoxious you are. Who said that? This week, for Whoa, I want to read that. I want to nerd out about When You Reach Me by Rebecca Stanton. I read this book for the first time on a flight to London a few years ago. Maybe I'll read it again on my next flight to England when I visit A.F. Harold. In the Newbery Award winning When You Reach Me, we meet Miranda and her best friend Sam. Now, they're growing up in late 70s New York City, which, from what I'm told from people who are older than me, is a pretty scary place. As Miranda is helping her mom prepare to appear on an actual game show called the $20,000 Pyramid, she's trying to make sense of this new weird science nerd at school named Marcus, as well as this homeless guy who lives on her corner who her and Sal named the Laughing Man. Why is he called the Laughing Man? Because he's weird, and he laughs a lot. Miranda is also trying to solve the mystery of who's leaving cryptic messages for her in her backpack. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cryptic? What does that mean? Google that. I got something even better than Google. One of my students got me a gift for Teacher Appreciation Day. Happy Teacher Appreciation Day, all you other teachers. Check her out. Hello. I am Bianco. Bianco? Hey, Bianco. Can you define the word cryptic for us? Cryptic. Having a meaning that is mysterious. I am Bianco. Thanks, Bianco. You're welcome, nerd. So, someone is leaving these mysterious notes from Miranda to find. And the entire story is told from her perspective as she's writing to the author of these mysterious notes. Not a spoiler, you do find out the identity of the author of these notes. And, and it completely changes the entire book. Completely. Comes out of nowhere. Kind of like the ending of Out of My Mind by Sharon Draper. Just comes out of nowhere and you're like, what? wait, what? So When You Reach Me by Rebecca Stead, I recommend it from anywhere from 6th to 8th grade. It's a perfect middle school book. Um, and while it takes place in the late 70s, it definitely deals with a lot of issues of friendship and bullying and loner kids who are really into science. Um, you know, stuff that everyday kids deal with, right? Oh yeah, dance party! Or kids, what happened to my music? You have to stop using other people's music. YouTube is just gonna take your videos down like they did those other ones. Because YouTube hates children. You know, that's a good point, I was thinking about that. 
We need music then. Percy, help me out, man. With what? Play some fresh jams, Holmes. This beat is extra tough. I'm not, I'm not really digging this one. This sounds like a theme song for your fat cat. Yeah. Next. What's with this music, Percy? Do you only go to dance parties with fat animals? Stop judging my life choices. How's this one, Your Majesty? Like this one? This beat is jamming! I love it! Me too, Bianco! Dance Park! I am Bianco.